never wanted kids. My wife changed her mind halfway through our marriage. Don't be me. I was on track for a child-free life until my marriage hit a rough patch six years ago, around five years since the marriage. At that time, my wife suddenly wanted a kid. I think it was because she was afraid of me leaving after all the crazy stupid things that had happened to her. And honestly, I would have if I were just fractionally less depressed at the time, but I was terrified to go it alone. So I stuck it out and hoped she would go back to not wanting kids. We were exposed to all kinds of terrible, miserable parenting and children. Multiple friends and relatives had swarm of shrieking larval spawn that somehow did not deter my wife, my now disabled wife who does not work. I persisted, got a better job, we bought a house, etc. I finally relented after five years and said we could talk to a fertility person because part of her medical issues involve a really severe instance of PCOS. I thought we still had time to talk about things and had hoped to use the cost of fertility and such to drive home that this was a bad idea. A month before our fertility meeting, she was pregnant. Now we have a baby and I'm working full time and going to school full time while also splitting the parenting 50-50 with someone that doesn't have a job. Don't listen to those fricks that say it'll be different when it's your child. Don't listen to the people that say you'll change your mind. Throughout the whole pregnancy, I tried. I planned, converted an attic into a nursery. I dumped thousands of dollars into making sure we had everything ready. My work has a great paternity program leave. I have been able to take off two weeks from work and I have another full 20 days I can take off any time in the next year. But nothing has changed. I still hate kids. I still hate having this burden in my life. I care about the baby because I'm not emotionless and it's not the kid's fault he exists. I'm going to do what I can to function as a parent but I'm going to be miserable the entire time. I'm going to feel regret the entire time. I'm not two weeks into this parenting thing and I'm considering walking away and just eating child support for 18 years. Too long didn't read. If your partner changes their minds about wanting kids, just leave. Don't be me. Read your post. Going to get a vasectomy. Be right back. My partner can't get pregnant yet the story time is making me want to do the same. Oh man, I've read so many posts that started that way and ended up with a quote-unquote miracle baby. Get that vasectomy. It's a small price to pay for complete peace of mind. She had a hysterectomy, so... Leaving might still be the right option. No kid benefits from growing up with a parent who regrets them and is living in heck. Because no matter what you do to raise another person well, you need to be in a good place. Yourself first. Making a martyr out of yourself benefits no one. Not even the kid. Pay the child support, but don't torture yourself with staying because the kid will end up on the receiving end of that one way or another. To add to your comment, the kid will always notice if one or both parents are miserable because of him or her. There's nothing worse than to grow up with that knowledge eating away at you. It's not just noticing. The problem is that children model their behavior from what they know and then modify, in my opinion, based on how successfully they can live their life with that model. There's no human born with a perfect sense of how it should be. We can only learn to listen to our raw emotional side that isn't hindered by societal expectations, or we learn to ignore the warning signs. To add further, from what I understand, we adopt a lot of our ways of thinking through watching our parents' behavior before the age of six. Original poster, your kid will absorb it. I had a dad who was miserable and I grew up with the feeling that life was just a storm to be weathered and it's never going to get better. I have unknowingly carried that hopelessness throughout the course of my life to date. I'm in my 40s now and just starting to deprogram those beliefs. Original poster, I'm so sorry for your situation and hope you're able to engineer a situation where both you and your son can thrive. If you aren't already and you can afford it both financially and time-wise, go to therapy. If both you and your wife can go, so much the better. You say you didn't leave initially because of depression, and the tone of your post makes it sound like it is still affecting you. Though most of us on this subreddit know precisely what we want, and it sounds like you do too. Two weeks is still an incredibly short amount of time to fully comprehend what this new life of yours will entail, and it's possible depression is warping your perspective. As others have said, leaving is still a choice. It might be right for you, your wife, and the kid. A good therapist will help you make that choice. 100%. Sometimes therapists can act as a separation specialist of sorts. They can help you emotionally navigate it and talk about it so that everyone is leaving with the best outcome for them. 
Also, if you get the minutes recorded and transcripted, if you have to go to court over child stuff and she changes her mind on how to split it or amounts you can have, records if her agreeing to it at all. This is a huge change to someone's life and even if you weren't depressed before, it is still a good idea to get therapy and couples therapy. You're tied to your wife for the rest of your life, married or maybe not in the future. You might as well try and make the best of it with therapy. As suggested by one of my commenters, I'll be moving on to another story that is similar to the first one. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. This is your halfway point. You can even leave your own comment below. My friend admitted she regrets her kids and wishes she would have stayed child free. So I have a friend, let's call her A. She's 23, two daughters ages two and a half and six months. She's not a horrible parent. She loves these girls to death, but could be a better parent. She does things like leave them with the iPad for a long time or lets them be crap heads when guests are over. Not that bad, not that good. I saw her for the first time in a long time recently. We talked for a while and she ended up confessing to me that if she could go back in time, she would have aborted her pregnancies. She knows how I personally feel about kids and I was asking her a bunch of questions. She said I was right about it all. The expenses, the emotional toll, the loss of individuality, feels like a living shell of yourself with a fricked up body image and two tiny humans who need you more than you need to be good to yourself. She said the noise they make drives her almost insane sometimes and their constant neediness gets unbearable. She says there are days where she locks herself in the walk-in closet or bathroom just to sit on the floor and cry without little hands pulling on her and asking a million questions. My heart broke for her. She cried a bit to me, talking about how she often dreams about working some dead-end retail job and going to the bar with her friends after work. Things an average 23-year-old does all the time, but she can't. She can't even hold a job because the hours she needs to be home with the kids. She can't do basically anything she wants to do. It's all about what the kids need. I fell for her so much in this moment. It hurts me to see someone I care about realize what I always knew for myself too late. Her message to me at the end of all this Trust yourself in not having kids. Ah, the old child-free confessional booth. The truth comes out. The worst part is this poor girl would be vilified if she said this to anyone else. She has a right to regret having kids. It's hard. Kids can be terrible and birth can destroy you. I feel for this poor thing. Honestly, the amount of single mothers I know who brag about their life nonstop on Facebook is astounding. You know, the ones that make it sound like we're the ones missing out and having a kid at 17 was the best thing to happen to them? Like some multi-level marketing scheme. I think they're trying to convince themselves more than any of us. Let's face it, admitting you regret having kids early or even at all doesn't mean you hate your kids, but I guess it's sort of taboo. I do know a lot of single mothers who are living the same life they had before. Glorified babysitters who drop their kids off unannounced at their mom's or grandma's house every single day so they can go party. Heck, my mom has a co-worker with a daughter who's pregnant with her second kid at 17. You just know that co-worker is going to have it worse than her daughter. It's baffling how many people are unfit to be a parent. How many people are too young to be a parent. How many people are too financially unstable to be a parent. Yet, look how many there are who fall into these categories. Most of the time, it's at least two out of three. While I am appreciative that I exist and I come from a mostly loving family, I'll be the first to admit any reasonable person in my mom's shoes would not have had me. Two kids at the age of 22? Heck no! Just wanted to point out that you are a good friend. You empathize with her and she obviously feels safe sharing those feelings with you. Most parents would treat her like a leper for saying that. Like, how dare she not be grateful 24-7 for her two little angels? It sounds like what she needs is support, both with the kids and mentally. All you can do is be there for her. Is the father or any family members a factor here? Or is she doing everything by herself every day? Crying on the bathroom floor suggests depression and burnout. And having two kids that young is a great deal of stress. The dad is a piece of crap. Not in the picture. He's in jail now and she has full custody. She has a boyfriend who helps out, and her family supportive, but lives pretty far. I'm going to be incorporating her into more of my plans, since the boyfriend is okay with watching the kids when she's not working. I feel like she needs more space to be herself so bad, not just someone's mom. 